Perfect Pitch Live. I'm your host, Nicole Rodriguez, also CEO and founder of NRPR Group. So for those of you who joined us last month, Robert Wynn was our first Perfect Pitch Live guest. Now I'm super excited to invite a very, very good friend of mine, my golf buddy, my partner in crime when it comes to working um, on events. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually read a little bit of her bio, but first... For those of you who are just joining Perfect Pitch or might not have listened to our podcast, which usually happens twice a month, um, Perfect Pitch was actually created by NRPR Group to help PR people, marketing people, journalists, everyone who wants to learn and know best practices so that we're all walking around with, I don't know, better abilities to do our jobs. <laughs> We're sharing t uh, tips and tricks of the trade. We have great people from the industry that will come and be our guests. We also will invite great journalists. So this time we have Mikey, and now I will read her bio. So Mikey is, this doesn't even do her justice, like she's <laughs> so amazing. But um, anyway, so she is the CEO and executive producer at ERE, and that stands for Endless Road Entertainment. Mikey is a absolute powerhouse. Um, she has an uncompromising entrepreneurial spirit, I agree, um, and is an L.A. native who launched her career in public relations by Coastally with, a renowned, fashion, with renowned fashion brands including Danone, Stitches, and Joe's, Joe's Jeans, um, and those obviously are like household name brands for those of you who don't know. Now you know. Anyway, so, um, but now what Mikey does with ERE is more than PR, right? That's kind of like her, I'll do that if we're adding on a bonus kind of thing, because we're now... No, I leave that to the professional. Yeah, now we're <laughs> that, their little arm there, but um, so from runway shows, new segments, photo shoots, product launches, she manages talent, she does it all, um, and is one of the most hardworking women in the industry I know, and that is why I am so, so, so pleased to have Mikey Kaufman on our show today. So Mikey... <laughs> Thank you for joining Perfect Pitch Live. What's up? I want to like take you everywhere and put you in my pocket and like pull you out when I like, meet somebody. So awesome. <laughs> she says she's so great. She's gonna just pull me out anytime she needs a little cheer. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, like Mikey, you're a great golfer. Yeah. That whole that whole red red thing really follows you. Hey, you know what? It's embedded in my soul. That's what I'm hoping. Yes. So, Mikey, the reason that we have you here today, I think there are a lot of people who kind of are still trying to learn what it is PR does, what goes into event production, what's the difference, would it be a PR team, would it be whatever, and what I like to tell people is event production is its own beast. It really is, and honestly, when it comes to execution, Mikey is like top-notch the best. When it comes to PR for events, that's a different thing. That's making sure that media and sometimes influencers show up, right? So. Uh, although they work together, oftentimes they are very, very separate because event production, I mean, you've got a long list of things, whatever. So why don't you go into that, Mikey? If I were to plan an event, maybe it's a launch event, it's a holiday event, whatever, what are some things that I should be considering or what are some common things that your clients need you to do? I'm actually glad that you talk about how separate events and PR is because um, I always like to refer to myself like working with somebody like you, like, I'll be your muscle. I'll be your muscle. I'll be behind you and I'll be your muscle. I'll do the heavy lifting for you. Um, for me, that's really what event production is. It's wrangling the sponsors. It's, you know, executing, executing sponsor contracts and sponsor deals and, you know, production with building sound staging, lighting. It's, it's really like a thread ring circus. Yeah. And I really learned through all the years of um, doing all of our own PR for all of our own events how it wasn't until really I worked with you and you did a PR for an event that we got to produce together Right? right? It was so different. You know, it allowed me to more more time and space to be able to focus on the things that I, I'm better at. So it's um, also it's also knowing like what your strengths and weaknesses are mm -hmm. and handing something over to somebody else and trusting in that person to handle all the media, which was really hard for me to let go of because I had done it for so so many years. But damn, you do such a better job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just saying, but when yeah. it comes to the event production side of things, you smashed it, right? Like, we could probably find a venue. That's not a problem. We can find a venue. We can talk to the, the organizers, but understanding, do you need lighting? Do you need sound? Do you need stages? Do you need a crew? What time would they come up? Again, it's a completely, it's a whole different world to consider. And 
Um, the nice thing is, here at NRPR, again, I know my strengths and weaknesses too. <laughs> you, you want us to get media and people at your event. You want it to run top notch. You want them to feel like they're getting the red carpet. We are the company to do that. Absolutely. But I would much rather leave it to an expert, Mikey, where I'm like, hey, Mikey, we've got a client who wants to throw a launch event. Let us know where it's going to be. <laughs> when it's together, right? But I think in any industry, in any profession, it's awesome when you understand your strengths and weaknesses and bring in really smart people to, to make that work so that it's seamless, right? I'm glad that you say that. I think that um, you... In my experience in the business, and gosh, almost twenty years, um, you're you you're kind of. Girl, I love you for like saying five. that. <laughs> I said what I was fine. Mm -hmm. um, you are an anomaly for me to be able to work with, which is what I feel very blessed with. Um, most PR people, PR companies, are threatened by people like me thinking I'm going to try and come and take their client. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to take your client. I love walking into like a busted up parking lot. Give me the worst place, a, a, fall, a building that's falling apart. I'm like, it's gonna be amazing. There's these red carpets and chandelier and tents and, and yeah. people just it's like juggly monkeys. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be timed perfectly, you know? And totally. So for me, I love A, that it's nice to have to be able to work with another woman in mm -hmm. this business that isn't competitive or catty and we are so supportive. But, but, but we're not the norm. That's you true. know that, and That's that it, and it breaks my heart. Yeah. And I I've, I've tried to work with so many different PR companies, and it's like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to steer clients. I'm yeah. trying to work with you. I want to be your backbone. Yeah. You know, you go out and sell the job. You cut me a check, and I'll make it all happen. Yep. You know, and it's and I don't want you to have to worry about anything but media. Right. And I'll worry about the timing of the event, the security, the staffing, the everything, and put the whole event together and tie it up in a really pretty boat and make you look even more amazing than you already look to your clients. Right. And that's what I want to do. Totally. That's and, and that's the thing, too, but that's where professionalism comes in. Also, confidence, Mikey. You that's are true. super confident in what you know you can do. I'm telling you, when we worked with Mikey the first time, this was, what, three, four years ago? Ooh, we're dating or something. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, about five minutes ago, because we're only 25. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so when we first worked with Mikey, she just, she came in with this powerful energy and was like, I have this great idea for, like, um, what was it? Endless and Nights. Concert series, Endless yeah. Nights. It was a concert series, yeah. And she's like, okay, I'm going to do this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, this is going to take, like, a month, two. There's no way we can pull this off in three weeks. What's going on? She goes, no, I got it. Okay, blah, 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 blah. I know this person, I know that. and I'm like, okay, so then all I have to do is just make sure that media get there. You guys have guests. We can, hand we can handle that. We just went after it. Literally, both of our strengths combined, it was like a transformer. Like, we just came together. But you're right, it's it trust. awesome. It's trust, because it's like, yeah. You feel secure in yourself. Totally. Because you you know what you do, and you're amazing at it, and I'm, I'm finally like, okay, I'm going to do me, you do you, and we are secure women that are able to work together. And have trust in each other and know that we have each other's back. Totally. And for Ladies. me, that's the most important thing. Ladies. Yeah. you got to have trust in one another, right? I know. Yeah. That was, that's absolutely the, the big thing. And I think that that's why it went so well. I mean, it was incredible. Well, also, it's nice to work with pretty people, too. Like, hey. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey. That doesn't hurt. But, uh, cheers to you. <laughs> cheers to us. Um, so, yeah. No, but... From there, we've been able to build a really solid working yeah. relationship, understanding this is what you do well, this is what I do well. And oftentimes, Mikey will come to me and say, look, I have this client. They might need this side, but you know what, girl? I know you can do that, so why don't you do that and I handle this? And it's like, fine, awesome. Because when it comes to being a manager, doing the day-to-day -day stuff, like I said, event production, bringing sponsors into the fold, Mikey smashes it. And I think that if more people understand that in this world, we're not meant to know and do everything. I really do believe that. I believe that the universe has it set up to where we do need people, right? It and is challenging when I feel like everyone's like, oh, you're a party planner. And I was like, <laughs> I literally like, cringe. It's like nails on a chalkboard. I'm like, don't call me a party planner. <laughs> Um, and everyone in LA, of course, is a an event producer and they're um, all publicists. Yeah, <laughs> they're all publicists. <laughs> like there's waitress, model, actress, right? Okay. <laughs> so I I feel that like, and I go to all these different events, and you know, it's hard not to judge. You know, oh, I'm yeah. just like, oh, I would do that different, I would do that yeah. different. But it also makes me realize how much people do need our services. Yeah. On both, on both 100%. ends. You know, from the, that's from the time you set foot onto that red carpet, yeah. how differently you're treated by a PR professional. Yeah. From, you know, how things, how how you can go to an event and run out of cups. Girl! I was so just saying! We, I was just we saying. were just at an event, a launch event, we're not going to say who, whatever. 
So we walk in, and we're going yeah. to go to the little area to get champagne, because they're serving champagne to all the guests. And the, um, the people serving champagne were like, oh, we're sorry, we're all out of cups. We're like this. So okay, she, and she literally was like, well, you guys can share the bottle. Like, what? I'm going to bills. Like, I'm going to swing it? Like, this is enough. I actually did consider that for a second. Right, like, two seconds. Like, I drink champagne. <laughs> <laughs> but, too, like, yeah. it's just, it really it does. Plan. And for me, I take that back to my yeah. team. I take yeah. it to my clients because I remember that experience, right? People yeah. will remember the experience they had with you. And that's why when we do our, the well, PR the side, overcrowded. Right. Oh. Overcrowded. And you can't walk through, you can't talk to anybody, you can't connect. Totally. That was another issue for that event. There, what, you got off the elevator, there was a, a red carpet where there should have been a walkway, you yeah. know, and you had to walk in front of the photographers to get over to the event. There's, it's, it's also logistics. about the floor plan. Yeah, flow. logistics, the flow, totally. you know. Is this a networking event? Then you make sure that you don't have too many people in the space that can't ever meet each other that are bumping into each other. Is it going to be too hot? Are you going to need air conditioning? Your building might have air conditioning, but when you put 100 bodies in there, it changes everything. That's even one of our big issues at our biggest event. We have yeah. a 26,000 square foot event in Vegas every year. And we I've put 100 that. people there, so awesome. we have to bring an extra air conditioner, you know, yeah. and we have to plan. And if something goes wrong, we have to have extra bathrooms outside. There's just so many logistics. I guess for me, I, I, I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I think it's the difference between what you walk in and think that this is a low budget event versus this is a high, a higher end event. And there's a way to make your events look high end without breaking the bank. Totally. Yeah. Well, and the it's thing is too, I think... A lot of people will take on certain jobs and say, oh, yeah, 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 our, our company can handle that. Sure, we could do events, but in the back of their mind, okay, well, we could probably handle this, but you can tell yeah. the experts from the, you know, well, non-experts, non -experts, right? Yeah. And I am the first to completely admit to clients, here's what I do really well, here's what I don't, but here's what I can find you, right? I'm always up front because reputation is everything. It's a personal brand, right? And well, so we're lucky your... though. We're lucky. I call you my sister company. Yeah. So so anybody that comes to me that wants PR or publicity, I'm like, I know the perfect person. Our sister company handles that. Should you need any marketing materials created or events or anything, advertising, let me know. She handles that. I handle this. Totally. And yeah. it's the same on our end. Hey, mm -hmm. we want to throw a big launch mm -hmm. event. I know I know just the person, right? ERE is a sister company to us. We've done a ton of events together. It runs well, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. We make the introductions done and I think that again this is how we keep our businesses going yeah. we are able to focus on what we do really well and pass on and work with the other people who compliment us and I feel like the one thing that we can really teach everybody is that there's more than enough to go around oh, there's so yeah that I can't stand you know that whole like I'm gonna hang on to my contacts I'm gonna hang on to this I'm gonna hang on to my clients you know for me that's very fear-based yeah it's like you're clearly fearful that maybe your clients are gonna leave you well Hey, if you're not doing a great job, your clients are going to leave totally. you. But hanging on so tight, what do they say about like when you hang on to sand or water it so tight? Exactly. Flows through your fingers. So for me, I'd rather, I'm happy, I'll be the first person to like, hey, I got a contact. Hey, you need a sponsor for that? You're just doing a little thing at your office? Cool, let me hook you up. Like, yeah. I like to share. I like to be a connector and somebody, and I don't really want anything back. I mean, if we're producing an event, it's different, but. It's good business mm -hmm. karma. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. And you know, so karma you're too, yeah. totally, and if you're putting that out, um, I just think it's, it's, um, yeah, it's good. It, if we're putting out, yeah, it's really good. That's and not what I meant. That's how we get our company. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. That's, that, that's, VIP. Like, that's for at the After Dark uh, Facebook Live, right? That's for our relationship <laughs> podcast that we're going to be starting. We have talked about that during golf. I'm like, girl, how much advice could we actually give people in relationships? A lot. Anyway, and you like, know, I thought nobody should take any from me. Well, but we can, you know, single what? for days over here. Oh, stop, stop. It's because, you know what? Because you're quality. That's what it is. We're both quality. Yeah, yeah you gotta, we got a high bar. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Anyway, so with that being said, um, <laughs> we have our first question for Mikey from a Twitter follower. Ooh. So, Mikey, what are some of the best practices you follow when accompanying a client to a professional event? Oh, I love this question. Um... Definitely, I love my, my clients to feel like they're being taken care of. You know, you don't want them waiting around in line or getting irritated, you know, with everything. You want to keep them in a good mood. I always like to know if they drink and if they do drink, what their favorite drink is. And generally having one of my assistants run and grab something for them while I get them on the carpet. Mm -hmm. um, and really, I just want, I want them, 
I really try to make sure they have maximum exposure and they're as comfortable as they can be at the event. Yeah. yeah. No, that's Slow, awesome. in and out. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. And it, you know what? It's thoughtful. People yeah. like to feel like they're important. Yeah. And if you're thoughtful about how to help them, how to make sure they have a good experience, again, that just, it, it's one of the best ways to retain a client yeah. is just making them feel really, really good that you care and that you're taking the time to ask questions. Do you drink? Do you not? Um, that's all awesome. Very good advice. Um, so another one, Mikey. What is your favorite thing about planning luxury events? And how do you prepare for the things that are sometimes unpredictable? <laughs> First off, I feel all my events are luxury events. And they could be small events that are $2,000. They could be events that are 200 300 half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I put 100% of myself into, into every event that we produce. My favorite thing is production. Mm -hmm. I love the creative aspect. I love being able, I love when someone tells me no, or when they totally question what, what they think could happen in the space. Right. I'm like, get out of my way. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. I love that whole surprise effect. I love like having surprise elements and the clients walk in and they're like, oh, blown away. Like they didn't expect certain things that we were going to do. Totally. You know, like people hanging from the ceiling. Yes, and, I've seen know, it. Yeah. We had a champagne airy list of our last red carpet. You know, we been, it, I just love surprise elements. Yeah. And let me give Mikey that? some kudos here. Mike, so LA Fashion Weekend, things like that she has produced and one thing that I know about her, it's she's a visionary. You come to her with an idea. You have an idea for just here. This is my company launch. Her brain works in like pictures and creative and wildness. That and my brain works in structure and execution. And here's how we do it. So I think that's also why we complement each other because she kills it in visionary execution. Everything like she makes sure it's all handled and it's like. This looks like we're in some, like, I don't know, an alternate universe, but it's always, always done to the max. It's oh my God, I love you so much. Yeah. You're no, you're. Uh, <laughs> so, you are for me? Okay. Okay. Oh, I think you actually are. Right? <laughs> okay, so this is for both of us. Okay. You're both successful female entrepreneurs in Los Angeles. Yes. Uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give to someone hoping to follow a similar path? I'll let you go first. No, I Beautiful ladies friends. first. No, but you're beautiful too. You go first. Oh, we're going to do this all day. I know. go first. Dang it. <laughs> okay. So, um, my advice always, work hard. Mm -hmm. Period. I did not get here because someone delivered a free box of success to my door. It didn't happen that way. I literally wake up every morning ready to smash it. Like, I'm going to kill it today. We are going to like... Top of the game, here's what we're going to do. Always thinking about my clients, trying to be two steps ahead of my clients. Or when I worked in-house, two steps ahead of my bosses. Your bosses are counting on you to do a job. And if you were given that job and you work for someone or whatever, don't look at it that way. You have to look at it as my brand speaks for itself when I turn in good quality work. That is how I came to be successful. That is why Moby TV, I used to work in-house. Now they're a client. Like... The Raider family, like, was still working together with them, doing things. Fitmark, God, they've been with us since day one. You guys have been with us. Like, this yep. is how you become successful. Constantly working hard, making people feel yep. good. Your personal brand just speaks for itself at that point. I, I completely agree with you. I think it's all about working hard and putting in the time and not being afraid to work hard, not being afraid to have different ideas, not being afraid to sit in a room with your peers and bounce ideas off of each other. Oh. I got to tell you... I have learned so much from the millennials that have worked for me. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, how to use my smartphone. I don't know. <laughs> Check my email. How to, uh, how how to use Instagram. my DVR. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, I love the younger generation that I hired to work for me. They give me so much inspiration. Um, and then having them integrate and look at people like you and being able to say, hey, I I'm crazy, but emulate her. She she's the bomb, <laughs> you know? It. But I think really what it is is it's about being honest, being true to yourself, being yeah. a good person, all those things for me, and, and being an assertive woman, yeah. too. I think it's really important not to let yourself be walked all over. And that doesn't mean you have to, the pendulum has to swing far the other way. Yeah. But, you know, be strong for yourself. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We've got a few Ladies more minutes. So we are um, from Facebook. How can PR people and event planners work best together? I mean, we should write a book about that. I, literally. Literally. Yeah. Yes. Like... 
I don't know. I, I think we kind of covered some of that yeah. stuff. But really what it is is be so good at what you do mm -hmm. that you come to the, day, the table confident in knowing what you do best so that you are not worried that the other side is either going to outshine you, outdo you, whatever. And you know what? It's like the same thing in relationships. It's like, girl, I don't want your man. Like, <laughs> I don't want him, okay? Like, I'm good. I just definitely don't want your man. <laughs> definitely don't. But it's, it's the yeah. same thing. It's where, like, no, I'm just here doing me. I'm here to do this part that I do very, very well. And as long as you do your part very, very well, we are going to kill it together. I do feel like there's one big thing, and I've noticed it between LA and New York and most places I've worked, and I, I, I cringe at the thought, but it's, it's my personal experience. Most women I meet in this business are very insecure. Stop it, ladies. Stop very insecure. It. So they get... They want to hang on so tight to what they have, and they feel very threatened. Yeah. Um, it's 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 super sad. I think that again, like we're an anomaly, and I, I wish I hope that we can meet more people like us yeah. that want to work together and are very confident in themselves and are like, okay, come together. How can we be a team? Yeah. How can we help each other? We do. Yeah. That's that's the beauty yeah. of it. I think that we I, like I feel very yeah. fortunate. So about I would our say the answer to that question is confidence, yeah. knowing yourself, believing in yourself, and lifting the other mm -hmm. people up. Yep. Right. Like really. I, every compliment I give to Mikey, I 100% mean, 100%. There's, it's like, I feel like there's an analogy of all of this. It's like, I can look at you like, oh my God, your outfit's so cute, you know? And you'll be like, yeah, I got these shoes on sale. Like I got a deal of them and I got them at such yeah. and such place. Most women won't say that. Most mm -hmm. women will be like, oh, I don't remember where I got it. You know, I, I don't like that competitive tag. Yeah. So don't be competitive. Be secure in yourself. You know, it happens. Yeah. It happens. But you know what? The, the, the confidence really yeah. comes from really awesome execution in your mm -hmm. work. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly think that that's where a lot of it came from for me, that it's like, no, I actually know that I do a good job. My clients tell me that, so I can walk around knowing that I do well, yeah. and I'm constantly trying to improve, and so we can collaborate and, and make that happen. And communication. I think, you know, yeah. I call you and I say, hey, listen, do you mind if I pitch this to your client? I'm on email with them right now. And if you say no, honest then I'm like, no. If you say yes, I'm, yeah, honest communication. Love it. Yes. And so we only have a few more minutes. And before we, we do, I want to make sure that people know where to find you, Mikey, online, wherever. Please let them know. Oh, God. Where are my millennials? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm at E-R-E-L-A-I-N-C. That's at okay. E-R-E-L-A Inc. Um, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. I you think that's it. Yet? I I think someone downloaded it on my phone. A millennial. Get with it. I just uh, it's it's one worth. Favorite. I don't even know how to check it. I don't even know how to check our own social media. Okay, we're gonna do. When yeah. we golf next time, I'm it's showing on. you. It's, it's on. It's, okay. It, it's gonna happen. Okay. It's my favorite. <laughs> okay. Um. So what? About a minute or two left. Okay. So we have a minute left, and we didn't get to all of these questions. But you know what? That's okay. What we're going to do, I'll personally answer these in the feed below. I'll work with Mikey mm -hmm. to make sure that all of you guys who had extra questions, we have two more, um, that you guys get your answers. But I just want to thank you for joining Perfect Pitch Live. As always, um, really appreciate those of you guys who continue to tune in. Um, we're here to help. Uh, any questions that you have, please ask below in the Facebook post. Mikey, thank you for being an amazing friend, an amazing person to work thank with. You. And just an awesome professional across the board. It is a blessing to know you. So thank, thank you, you so for much. joining us. Lots of love. Okay. Love you. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. Bye. Peace out, guys. Thank you.